Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. On the program today, a young man whose passion has become helping his community through the Gift of Life Merrill Registry. You'll meet him this morning. Also on the show, the nation's second largest employer is looking to find out who, how, when, and later on in the show. But up first, a holistic nonprofit created to support individual group healing through innovative programming designed to enhance one's relationship with their environment. Using nature as a conduit to promote healthier lifestyles, Hero Naturing Center was founded in 2014 as a very distinct project here in Boston which uses nature walks in the Blue Hills as a response to trauma suffered by those in urban neighborhoods. Its founder, Judith Foster, is a host also on WBPG 102.9 FM, Boston Praise Radio. And she joins us this morning along with her producer, S. Sia Chief Samara, who is also vice president of Hero Nurturing Center and founding member of the Mass Bay Cannabis, New England's original private cannabis club. Welcome to Urban Update. Thanks for coming in. Thank Judith, you. Uh, let me start with you by just giving us kind of an overview of um, the Hero Nurturing Center and why you founded it. The uh, essential message for Hero is that it's a beacon, a lighthouse, if you will to uh, usher folks back to nature, connect back to nature, to uh, get the healing that nature produces. Tell me a little bit more about uh, the, the walks in the Blue Hills, the Blue Hill Mountains, and um, you know, who are they for, and kind of how, how does that work? They're for, for anyone who's suffered trauma of any kind, and also just for, for everyone who's going through everyday life traumas, not one specific trauma per se, uh, like myself or, or Chief, who's a veteran who comes on the, the walks regularly. And so even just everyday challenges uh, uh, can give you uh, traumas. And so we invite everyone to come and reconnect and uh, experience the healing that we know that nature brings. Chief, uh, tell me a little bit more about your radio show and you know, how, you, how do you describe it uh, to, uh, to other folks, your loyal listeners? Well, the radio show is The Reality with Judith Foster on Boston Praise Radio and TV, uh, and I produce there. And it's our opportunity to share this healing information for people who have suffered trauma on the radio. And we get um, professionals and um, leaders calling into the show and helping us work through those issues, too. So how do you pick your guests and what kind of um, what some of the most, you know, the topics that you've covered on your show? So, well, we have. We have introduced this uh, subject of legalized cannabis. We talk about, and, and cannabis is healing, we talk about trauma from different um, points of view and we invite people to come and share how they've overcome uh, their particular type of trauma. Judith, in your view, why, is, why do you think a show like this is important? Um, to have in Boston? Boston is uh, hmm, the, the Globe Spotlight series uh, said it all. And so with, with those inherent traumas and also the uh, violence that we uh, suffer daily and also the, the, the harassment as well that the youth face, we see that there's uh, a need for nurturing and there's a need for healing in the, our community. And so uh, what better way to get this out than to have a radio broadcast where we can reach uh, 351 towns and cities in Massachusetts. And so we, we uh, like the dialogue that we have. We had a, a veteran, female veteran on, Michelle Portier. She doesn't live in the state, she lives in Florida. But uh, she suffered many traumas going through the, the wars that she had gone through. And so by her talking about all of the uh, traumas and how she's healed herself, that uh, other veteran, female veterans can relate and others can relate as well. Are you involved in some other projects and movements as well? Yes, I am. I am a part of the uh, Boston Communities United and uh, we are a community organization dedicated to bringing uh, legislative change for the community and just bringing awareness to all of the issues that the community face. I'm also a member of Values Over Violence and that's a, a group engaged in uh, healing and they take the forgiveness and reconciliation approach to uh, healing violence. No, Chief, you're pretty active as well, aren't you? Yeah, and actually I'm a member of the Blue Hill Corridor Planning Commission, which is a new commission set up to, to um, start encouraging more economic activity along the Blue Hill Corridor and support the businesses and residents there. 
But I guess what um, when you talk about these walks in the Blue Hills, I guess what um, what are you hoping that people get out of them? Well, it's really nice. So once a week we meet Saturday. Uh, right around 12. People shut off their phones, we touch in, and then we move into the wilderness and we're surrounded by this natural environment and it's such a um, refreshing break for so many people to come and be human for a little bit on the weekend. I know, Judith, um, uh, again, one of the reasons you started this, you, had, you lost a loved one yes. and uh, you found this um, did you find this, this this healing therapeutic to do this? Oh, absolutely, and this is why I can recommend it to others that it it uh, scientific based it helps and it does uh, soften the the road in a journey towards healing a bit. Anything else you've got coming up that you would like to preview for our audience? Yes. Uh, well, every Tuesday you can catch us on Boston Praise Radio and TV Network one zero two point nine FM. And also, starting April 21st, if the weather allows, <laughs> we'll be doing our first uh, nature healing walk this year. Looking forward to it. And oh. we invite everyone to come along. Okay, all right. Anything else you need to add, uh, Chief? Uh, no, that's great. Tune in to the reality on Boston Praise. Um, it's a grow, growing alternative uh, show and station. So and thank you. Tuesdays, 8 a.m. Okay, all right. 10. 2.9, Boston Praise Radio and TV Network. Okay, Judith Foster and Sia, Chief Samara, thank yeah. you both for coming in. Thank you, Byron. Thanks for having me. Okay, Byron. good luck with everything. All right, coming up next, opportunities for you to work for the second largest employer in the U.S. All the details coming up right here on Urban Update.